Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed various pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation. We discussed colon link, colon hover and colon visited pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation and how we can use them in our HTML pages. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss colon target pseudo class selector with respect to navigation. It is a very very useful pseudo class selector. Before we proceed and understand what this syntax does and how we can use it in our HTML page. First of all, I create one document. I minimize the word document. I go to start, say here notepad. I click on the notepad. You can see that the notepad got open and then I write the basic HTML structure. Less than exclamation mark, doc type HTML, opening HTML, lang equal to en closing html tag opening head tag closing head tag opening body tag closing body tag in the head section i write meta char set equal to utf8 close i save this file at desktop file save as i save the file at desktop with the name default dot html both sides i put double quotations click on the save button Minimize, you can see that default.html page got created. I right click on it, save open with the Firefox. I click on the notepad, you can see that default.html page got open in the Firefox. I set the title here, so title, I say target pseudo class selector, closing title, file save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the title is set to target pseudo class selector. In the body section, I am going to create a paragraph. So here I say top section, closing paragraph. Then below that I create some breaks. So br, 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 br. I copy this, paste it few times, two, three, four, five. I copy this code from here. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see top section got displayed. Paste here and I say here, M I W D L E middle section file save go to browser and refresh the middle section also got displayed you can see below that I create bottom section B O T T O M bottom section file save go to browser and refresh we have top section middle section bottom section I hope you guys remembered that in HTML video tutorial series we discussed how do we navigate from one section to another section within the same page as well as how do we navigate from one page to another section in another page. There what we have done, we followed two steps. First, we uniquely identified the elements. So here this is going to be top. This one is going to be ID of middle. This one is going to have the ID of bottom. So we are identifying the sections uniquely by using the ID here. That's the first step. And in the next step, we create hyperlinks to move from one section to another section within the same page. So I create here an anchor element, href equal to hash m i w d l e middle, close. And I say here, middle section. Then I say here, closing anchor tag. If I click on this middle section hyperlink, it takes me to the middle section because I'm writing this ID name here, the middle. Right. So then I use some breaks here, br, another break, and again I create another anchor, href is equal to bottom, and before writing the bottom, I write hash sign, then I say here, bottom section, closing anchor tag, file, save, go to browser, and refresh, you can see we have middle section, bottom section, hyperlinks. If I click on the middle section, it will take me to the middle section. I go back. If I click on the bottom section, it goes to the bottom section. I go back to the top section. So that is how we navigate from one section to another section within the same page. That's a step, right? Let me copy this code from here, paste it down. Here I say it goes to the top section, top. And here I say top. File, save, go to browser and refresh. If I go to the middle section, we have top section link and bottom section link. Top section, 
take me to the top section i go to the middle section bottom section take me to the bottom section i copy this code from here paste it down now this takes me to top section this takes me to middle section so here i say m i d d l e middle file save go to browser and refresh now we have middle section we can go anywhere now in the, within the page we can navigate anywhere we have created a proper links let's go to the word document and understand the target pseudo class selector we write a selector colon target in flower bracket we write declaration list what this code does actually it selects any html element targeted by the selector if its status is targeted if its status is targeted only when element id or a name appears as targeted fragment identifier in the uri uniform resource identifier or uniform resource locator in the url if you find targeted fragment identifier let me explain what is the targeted fragment identifier here let me go to the browser and maximize the size okay now in the url here you can see it is showing default.html then we have hash bottom right what is the meaning of that hash bottom is actually known as targeted fragment identifier let me click on the middle section now hash middle you can see hash middle that is actually known as fragment identifier targeted fragment identifier top section hash top is known as targeted fragment identifier if you see the targeted fragment identifier with the name top then maybe we want to apply some border around the top section here around this paragraph if i click on the middle section i want something to be highlighted that the middle section is now a targeted fragment identifier if i click on bottom section i want the border around it so that i can tell to the user that now the bottom section is the targeted fragment identifier how do we do that what we can do is we can take help of this target pseudo class selector so i am telling here an example code you can see locate any paragraph if it is a target identifier or targeted fragment identifier apply the border 2px dotted red around it what this code does it selects any p element which is currently a targeted fragment identifier in the url so you can see now in the browser if i click on the middle section can you tell me which paragraph is going to be targeted identifier of course the paragraph which contains the middle section text right if i click on the bottom section the bottom section paragraph the paragraph which has the id bottom section is going to be a targeted identifier in the url so we can highlight that by using the target pseudo class selector let's see the demonstration so that you get a clear idea here i write style type equal to text or css then i say here closing style tag and then i say p colon target opening flower bracket closing flower bracket i say here border 2px dotted red semicolon file save let go to browser and refresh you can see that hash bottom is the targeted fragment identifier and you can also observe that a paragraph which contains the bottom section text which has the id bottom is now highlighted with dotted red border let me click on the top section you can see that the top section is now having the dotted red border around it the paragraph which has the id top right whereas others are not having the dotted red border you can see that middle section and bottom section because they are not present in the url targeted fragment identifier if i click on bottom section bottom section is now having the border a paragraph which has the id bottom that is how you can highlight which is at present currently targeted right the currently targeted element you can highlight and you can indicate to the user that this element is now targeted by the browser friends that is all about the target fragment identifier and how we can use colon target pseudo class selector to highlight something which is at present having a status targeted 
So that's all about for this video tutorial friends. I suggest you people to try using this in your HTML pages. For this tutorial this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.